lesson is called Nature's Perfect Partners, and what you're going to see is students analyzing the text at a deeper level. They are going to be searching for cause and effect relationships or comparisons that they can write questions about and then discuss. All right, so boys and girls, this is the second day that you're reading the book, Nature's Perfect Partners. And me remember, we learned all about symbiosis. And would someone like to explain what symbiosis is? Yes. It's between, like, partnership between two persons. Yeah, two animals. Animal, a uh, but person. it could be a person. That's right. So it's a, it's a relationship between two animals or species. Sometimes it could be a plant. And at least one person benefits from the, the uh, relationship, right? So we learned all about that. Now today, you're going to read it again, but we're going to go deeper. We're going to be using our yellow question cards to find cause and effect relationships, or you might do a compare and a ca contrast question. So on the card, as you read, you're going to come across a page that has a sticky note. When you come to that page, that's where you're going to be writing your question and you're going to write one yellow question. Now I'm going to model for you on page two. So everybody turn to page two. And you read all about the giraffe and the tick and the oxpecker. Those were the three thing on this. So the tick is on the giraffe, right? So my question is going to be, what causes the tick to be on the giraffe? Who remembers that? You can go back and read. Why is the tick on the giraffe? It's in the first paragraph. Yes. He likes drinking the giraffe's blood. He likes to drink the giraffe's blood. He's like a vampire. Yeah. OK. So that's a relationship. Now, does the giraffe benefit from that relationship? No. Just the tick does. Now, we get the oxpecker. So what causes the oxpecker? to land on the giraffe. And we can see that's in the picture. Yeah. And they could eat the ticks. The oxpecker can eat the ticks. Now, what relationship is there between the oxpecker and the giraffe? Describe that relationship. So what are, these, what are some examples of symbiosis with the giraffe and the oxpecker? OK, so here's how I'd answer it. The giraffe benefits because the oxpecker takes off those harmful ticks. The oxpecker benefits because they take off the ticks. And they, what do they do with them? They eat the ticks. So they get food. So these relationships usually have to do with some kind of a survival. What's that? So they depend on each other. Right, exactly. That's exactly, that's, that's what symbiosis is. It's a dependence on each other. All right, so how is the oxpecker and the tick similar? That could be another question. You see how it says on the first one, how are blank and blank similar? How is the oxpecker and the tick similar? My answer would be they both eat, 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 like eat something from, from, the, same animal. from the same animal. They both eat from the giraffe. How is the oxpecker and the tick different? That would be question number two. How are they different? Uh, the oxpecker is Just a second. Go ahead. The tick drinks the, the tick eats the blood, and then the oxpecker eats the tick. Good. How else are they different? The tick eats, oh, no, the tick, um, the tick harms the giraffe, but the oxpecker helps the giraffe. Okay, so now go ahead and start reading and come up with at least one yellow question card when you come to that page.